Unconventional natural gas drilling is extremely dangerous. It's destroying our environment, public health, and safety. And yet last year, more than once, Governor Corbett suggested that if schools like Fisk County University wanted to have their funding restored, one thing they might consider is drilling on campus. And so I'm wondering how, if you happen to believe the same thing that your uh, boss believes, that you should do natural gas drilling like a matter of hundreds of feet from dormitories and classrooms. Well, again, I, I, I remember what it was that the governor said, and I don't remember him saying that in order to have your, your, your spending cuts re restored, you had to drill. What I think he said was, was one of the ways in which you might be able to lower F overhead is by availing you individual schools around the state, by availing yourselves of the opportunity of running your facility on natural gas by having, by having wells nearby that would extract that gas. Uh, I think that we continue to have this debate, and as I can see from, uh, from your button, your no fracking button, you've made up your mind on this issue. Um, but I, I would say to you uh, that there are a great many people who disagree with some of your premises. Uh, we recognize... I thought there was a spill last week then, and more people have their water poison at fracking safe. Well, 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 you know, while I respect your right to be here, and, and God bless democracy and the First Amendment, I'd be happy to take your question in turn. Well, like well right now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, if I may. Right now, I'm sorry, I'm answering this woman's question. When appropriate, I'd be happy to answer yours. Uh, but it, it, the simple truth of the matter is uh, that there are a great many fields of human endeavor, in fact, every field of human endeavor, uh, that involves some level of risk. Uh, and what we've been trying to do uh, is to limit the risks uh, to public health and public safety and to the environment of the state. Uh, and that's why we've, and the Secretary mentioned it, passed one of the strictest regulatory structures in the nation. Uh, for uh, for natural gas drilling, uh, there are uh, I think it is going to be an ongoing effort uh, between all of us to make sure that we maximize the economic development potential and the job creation uh, potential of this industry while minimizing uh, those risks. It's going to be a careful balance, but it's one that we believe we can achieve. So you agree it's okay to drill on campus? Uh, I think that if that's something that fits within each individual uh, college's uh, business plan or something that makes sense, sure, they ought to be able to have the opportunity to do so, if that's what they wish to do. You know, there's a company up in Wyoming County that employs about 6,000 people that would have left if they, they would have gone to, gone to China for the most part if they did not take advantage of the natural resource and, 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 and drill within their own property, saving them somewhere in the neighborhood, I think, of $25 million a year. Now look, all those things, we're, we're talking about the positive aspects. Uh, the, governor's, the governor's bill, he was very adamant about, as was, as was uh, Lieutenant Governor Coley, attaining the highest level of, um, of responsibility and, um, and quality standards. And you know, I, we're, we're about looking at the data. Uh, and and the, data, the data tells us that um, A, fracking, certainly has been going on for 20 years, and B, uh, that the, uh, the, the type of fracking that takes place, 7,000 feet, feet down, uh, well over a mile less than any water tables, um, and, and the level of um, quality standards that they must maintain, they meaning the natural gas companies, um, it's, a, uh, it's a safe uh, and clean energy. Gentlemen. Thank you very much. Well, can we take, we have some more hands. Can we take this? I promise this gentleman, if, he, so if you allow me to finish, is, hold on for the microphone, if you would, please. So what you're saying is, and you just gave a nice five minute answer on the question, is that you endorse Boise named college students across the state who go to IUP, go to places like Slippery Rock University. And then you're saying that there. How is the science there when peer reviewed papers are coming out? Who science is right? Your science coming from the Marcellus Shell Coalition, or scientists coming from independent research groups across the country? Well, any, any reasonable person is going to look to, to independent data, uh, not any data that's, uh, that's, uh, that's biased. 
Look, we want the, you know, I think in the end, it's the same thing as you, a, a prosperous state, yet without ruining the, the value and the, and, the, uh, and the environment, right? And um, there's, 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 there's a balance that can be met. Well, how come there is a family that has to have water shift their house now, who has a gas well, I think, and it's also, or somewhere in northeastern Pennsylvania, because there's chemicals, organic chemicals, organic molecules, and methane doing their house. Did it just happen once before Rex came there, or after Rex came there? Rex, I think that might be one of the companies on the uh, Marcellus Shale Coalition. The industry-led coalition that you were on, Governor, or who's that Governor Coley? Actually, again, I, it seems like a refrain. I'm going to respectfully disagree with the premise of your previous question. And I'm not a member of the Marcellus Shale Coalition. I was the chairman of the Marcellus Shale Advisory Commission, which, was, which is a totally different animal, uh, that had members of the industry on it, yes, but also had environmentalist groups on it, and leaders of local government, and leaders from the administration. Uh, and we had a very candid, very public, discussion about some of the issues that you're raising and some of them that are risks that you haven't raised. And we acknowledge that there are risks. And we acknowledge that it is our obligation to minimize and mitigate those risks in every way that we can. To suggest that the harvesting of natural gas in this state is equivalent to poisoning, poisoning college students, quite candidly, it's so absurd, it's, sir, if I may, it's so absurd, it disrespects your argument. I would well, it's it, 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 well, but because it's not accurate. Yeah, it, it, it's yeah. theater. It's, it, it's theater, sir. It's theater. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the governor has already imposed penalties far beyond the past, again, administration, uh, over, over $2 million dollars in penalties. $2 million dollars from Marcellus Shield Company, so, I mean... And, Unlike you, I've been to Demick more than 15 times, the place that you're, you're referencing yeah, in Susquehanna County. Gentlemen, excuse me, we had a procedural ground rule here that there wouldn't be follow-up questions except perhaps asked by your friend if you'd ask your friend to follow up. Yeah, and so at I'm this point, these aren't much. questions, I think these are statements. Gentlemen, do you have time for Can me? we have, this young lady in the back has been, you right there, ma'am, you right there. Has, she's had her hand up from the beginning. Well, while we're speaking about fracking, I would like to ask you about the impact bill that was just passed. Yes. Why did you feel the need to push the, the fact in the bill that uh, local municipalities and local governments no longer have power to govern them, their own uh, communities against uh, zoning and any anything related to drill non-disclosure for medical purposes this is this is way beyond collecting fees from the national natural gas companies and also why do the locals only have 60 days to approve the bill it's now 45 days it's a 175-page bill, and they have 60 days to decide whether they want to collect fees or not, and that's once and done. So why are these things that are just to collect fees in these bills, taking rights away from the citizens of Pennsylvania, not even speaking about the dangers of the chemicals? Well, <clears throat> let me say that there are kernels of truth in what you said and, and, and things that just I'm frankly, to the I'm going to give you a put out and I'm going to line up every single one of them uh, in no particular order. Let's start with the 60 day requirement. The 60 day requirement is a requirement on the county commissioners, which in within each respective gas producing county to pass an ordinance to implement an impact fee. If they choose not to, if the board of county commissioners or a county council chooses not to, the local municipalities have an additional 60 days, now 120 days, in which to determine whether or not they should assess an impact fee. Um, I'm trying to remember some of the other things that, that you referenced. The uh, taking away from Thank local you. Thank you. You, 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 suggest that local government, you suggest that local governments no longer have any enforcement ability. Well, through the municipalities, uh, uh, through the municipalities planning code, 
uh, the Solid Waste Code, among some others, they do continue to have uh, oversight abilities. Not as much as perhaps they once had, uh, but up until rather recently in this state, oil and gas had, uh, had, had that right uh, of, uh, uh, of a uniformity of application of code up until a Supreme Court case of about, I'm going to say about 10 years ago. This bill really only restores what it was that the Supreme Court had, had taken away. And what was your other question? About the non-disclosure for medical Yeah, reasons. that's governed under HIPAA. I think that's probably one of the greatest misnomers. That nowhere in the bill does it speak to that. Uh, that is governed under a person, a, a, an individual's right to keep their medical records private. That's a federal law. That, that, that has little to nothing to do with, uh, with the Marcella Shale bill that passed. And I will say this as well. We met for 120 days to analyze the issue. We submitted 96 separate recommendations to the governor. All anyone seems to want to talk about is that one about an impact fee. The bill was much larger than that. The bill was one that made sure that our first responders had the training they needed in order to respond to possible events, because we did recognize that there are risks. The bill recognized that there was a need to enhance the R911 system to avoid problems like we, like we had in Clearfield County when there was a blowout and they were unable to dispatch because that location had not yet been GPS. The bill acknowledges that there are a great many aspects of life that are affected by Marcella Shale natural gas exploration, and it's much more than just an impact fee. So if you haven't already, I know it's 174 pages, I would invite you uh, to read it, and, and please feel free to get back to my office with insight uh, and with suggestions. I appreciate it.